Okay, I'm just going to share a quick uh, compositing trick with you guys. I was at Disneyland earlier and I decided to test out the 4K capabilities of my phone, the uh, Galaxy Note 3. So I got this quick plate and I just motion tracked it using After Effects' built-in 3D camera tracker. And a cool little trick with After Effects is once you've done a 3D camera track, and really I didn't do anything other than track the footage and ask it to create a camera for me down here, um, any element that you add into your composition that is 3D or behaves in 3D space, After Effects will automatically recognize and you don't have to do anything else to it in order to get it to fit into the scene and track into the scene. So while I'm scrubbing back and forth, you know, this looks like a pretty basic shot, but just to show you what I mean, this rock right here is actually CG. I used um, Element 3D to create that. I'll go ahead and switch that on and off so you can see what I did right there. Um, but there's really no trick behind this aside from the fact that I tracked the camera. So uh, tracking the camera on a shot like this is relatively straightforward. There isn't a ton of movement uh, to throw off the track, meaning if there were people walking through here or if the it was really windy and the trees were moving, it would have thrown off the track. But since the majority of this is relatively static, I was able to get some pretty decent results. So anyway, all I did was stick this element in here, resize it, put it in here. I added a reflection and, um, you know, a shadow. But like I said, all of those, because you know, element 3D works in 3D space, After Effects recognizes that and it makes each element move so that it looks like they're not moving, if that makes any sense. So just to show you another example, I'll go ahead and shut these off really quick. Um, when I shot this, the sun was just overhead and it did create this pretty nasty lens flare. So I figured, you know, rather than try to minimize that and get rid of it, I'll just take the angle of least resistance and throw optical flares on there and make the flare even more intense. So um, again, this is a little bit much, but I did throw, um, excuse me, optical flares onto a light and I'm having it track the light. Now lights are 3D. So this light up here um, is moving with the comp because it's been camera tracked. So if we go ahead and play through this really quick. So you can see that the way that the light moves is it's moving with the, the camera movement, which is realistic because in real life, the sun would be a fixed point in space and you know the camera would be shaking back and forth like that. So anyway, hope those quick tips help you out. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, The Edit Bay. I uh, appreciate your support. See you next time.